Strange things are afoot at Epic Edition 15 of Red Bull Romaniacs. Day 2 of the off-road rally saw more dominance from young guns like Wade Young and Manny Lettenbickler. They jockeyed for position through most of the track, up rocky slopes, through Carpathian forests, and into an old abandoned mine. Overall West leader Johnny Walker also performed well, and last year's Red Bull Romaniacs champ Graham Jarvis was definitely struggling to keep up. In the end, it was Wade Young with the fastest time. On the day of a full moon in Transylvania, things begin to take an even stranger and more exciting twist. Riders gather at the start gate for off-road day three. This track will take them 158 kilometers through crazy signature sections called Trial Trail, Parallel Slalom, and Babysitter. Today I'm uh, second away behind Wade, so basically I'm just gonna push hard early on, try and catch him, and then obviously I'm gonna have to make a break from him, but it's gonna be hard. So it's day three, and I'm planning to just try to bowl on my lead. It's gonna be difficult starting out first, but um, that's the plan, is to just make no mistakes and get out there and get a good time. Noticeably absent from the crowd is Taddy Blazuziak, who bowed out of the race due to an illness. The top riders will use this to their advantage as the race begins. Red Bull Romaniac's leader Wade Young is off first. Walker is next, followed by Lettenbickler. Graham Jarvis, who's been struggling over the first two days, leaves the start. Into the race, Young takes a hard left, blasts up a section known as Trial Trail. Walker is determined to keep close. Billy Bolt is charging hard. He passes Manny going into parallel slalom. But before reaching the top of the hill, Manny takes back third. A couple of hours into the race, the pack move into a treacherous rocky section known as Babysitter. Front runner Young sprays dirt, struggling to get up the mountain. He gets help from a spectator, but it's eating away precious minutes. Enough time for second position Walker to catch up. He also has a difficult time. Over his shoulder, Lettenbickler closes in. And it's Wade Young arriving first at the service point. The rest of the riders begin to arrive. Missing from the pack is six-time Red Bull Romaniacs winner, Graham Jarvis. I'm gonna have to stop. What? I don't feel too good. <laughs> Not just tired, but nothing. I just can't do anything. With Blazuziak and Jarvis out, it will definitely affect the overall West standings. Taddy and Grimbo will now have to ride that much harder in the final four races of the series to make up the time and points. To actually pull out the race will have broke his heart because he doesn't quit, he never quits. He's known for never ever quitting and it'll have been one of the hardest decisions. I'm sure he was going through some emotions in his helmet when he was deciding not to, not to actually carry on. But I think it was the best decision he could have made. To only have one DNF in his entire life, uh, I'll give him this one. Current sixth place Red Bull Romaniacs rider Billy Bolt flies into the service area. But something is wrong with his bike. Originally we just thought that he's lose, lost all his coolant and the bike would be fine to carry on. So. We flushed the system, cooled the bike down, filled it back up, and it filled the, filled the cylinder with, with fluid, so the bike wouldn't run. If it doesn't run, Billy's out. Billy's team of mechanics work overtime to get the bike and bolt back in the race. They succeed, but they've lost six valuable minutes. We changed now a bit on the engine and uh, we want to get these points because we are in the West as a championship, every race counts. Back to the action. Wade Young launches into the next section trying to keep distance between himself, Walker and Lettenbickler. Which becomes slightly easier when Manny goes down. Only a few minutes back, it's Alfredo Gomez. 
With Taddy and Jarvis out, it leaves room for Gomez to hunt the leaders and gain a higher ranking. Into the defining stretch of the race, the top three athletes are now only tens of seconds apart. Fans cheer them on and help them out as they battle the clock up a steep switchback, the shockingly difficult Las Galindo. Coming out on top, once again, it's Wade Young crossing the finish line with the fastest time. It was a real long day. Um, went fast where I could, there's still another day. So I had a little bit of a gap, so if that closed me in, I wasn't too stressed about it. Try to save a little bit for tomorrow. Letton Bickler is second, and Walker comes in third. I feel like I'm riding really good, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm riding fast when I need to, but then just on the technical bits, you know, just a few, a few mistakes, but. You know, it is what it is, them two are riding awesome. So, uh, I'm gonna do some homework after this. Here are today's off-road standing. Going into the final day, there's four minutes between Young and Lettenbickler. A sizable gap, but it's not impossible to close. Manuel's riding well. If he takes the win, Johnny Walker will only be 35 points ahead of him in the overall West standings. Only one day left at Epic Edition 15 of Red Bull Romaniacs. To see who takes the podium, check out Red Bull TV. Red Bull Romaniacs, yeah!